Okay guys, and welcome back. So we've actually switched the actual on, the lights are actually off, and this is what the actual screen looks like. Obviously there's no actual no signal. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through the actual like menu and let's have a look just to see what's actually inside the actual menu itself. So first things first, I am literally, so I've measured um, the actual distance. I'm actually 2.6 meters away and we're projecting an 80 inch actual screen. So quite massive. So this is bigger than the actual um, um, 4K TV that I've actually got at home. So if this is going to be the actual size that I actually can project at this clarity, as you see, it's quite clear. Um, this is going to be quite um, fantastic. Um, obviously, if your wall is not actual, um, uh, like large enough, you can actually change the actual size of the actual screen itself by um, decreasing the actual screen size in the actual menu. So obviously if you want to project a smaller size, you can actually um, alter that. Because obviously the screen size is gonna be dependent on how far your, your projector is away from the actual wall. Um, the actual room that I'm gonna be installing this in eventually is, is actually much um, longer than this room that I'm actually testing in now. So the screen size is gonna be quite bigger. But at 80 inches, it's looking pretty sweet at the actual moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on the actual menu. So on the actual menu, we've got your standard actual um, operating system that you would see on most Chinese actual mm -hmm. um, projectors. So first things first, you've got your actual um, picture. So you, you can go picture menu, you can either do video, standard mode, which is probably the more calibrated actual mode here. And obviously you've got soft and you've got your user. So you, as you can see, you can change the contrast, the brightness, the color sharpness, and the actual um, 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 tint of the actual. We want to go back here. And next thing we've got color temperature. So we've got really weird actual labeling here. So we've got medium, warm. So obviously if you want to reach your actual colors, obviously choose the actual warm. User, like, which you could probably um, change it here. Um, I might be actually playing around with that later on. Cool, so obviously if you want a uh, more um, down the actual um, color scheme, so a, a cooler actual color, obviously cool. I'm gonna set this to actual medium. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. Um, hold on, menu in here, go back into the actual menu. Aspect ratio, you can even change it to your standard um, four by three, um, 16 by nine, obviously your zoom one and two and your just scan if you just want it to display as per the actual source material. And we're gonna head back here and obviously noise reduction. So if you wanna reduce the actual um, grain or on the actual image, you can actually change it here. This is gonna leave it at, at the standard default for now. Uh, we're gonna go through here. And obviously, I'm not sure what screen is, we'll have a look later. And obviously the projection, the actual direction, obviously um, what's this for is if you're actually gonna like mount it um, in a different orientation. So if you're mounting on from the actual ceiling, the actual the image is gonna be reversed. So that allows you to actually um, flip it um, actual like around where you can actually, um, you know, yes. so obviously the image is, is, is gonna flip um, 180, it's gonna flip it on the side. So, so obviously this gives you the option to actually fix that up. So AV mode, so you so obviously you wanna AV your PC. So we're gonna change that to PC when we change it to PC. So here is where you can actually change the actual the, 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 the display size. So we're gonna play around a bit. So obviously 99, this, so for example, if I, want to bring it to 75%, we can probably, anyway, um, I think this only works when you've got video playing. So we'll play around with that when we've got um, video actual playing, because I, mm -hmm. I have like played around with this at night, and well, last night actually, um, after I've actually unboxed it, I, I had a bit of time to actually play around with it. Haven't had much to actually um, test it um, much, but, this is what this video is for. So I'm, obviously I'm gonna give my actual impressions on what I think um, and how this performs. And obviously you can go through video size. Um, so the next menu, you can actually go across and obviously the actual sound menu, obviously you can play around with the treble and actual bass, you've got your user and it's just a standard music and movie. So I wanna keep it 
probably switch it to movie at the moment because we are going to be playing um, some movies through this. Next things first, and I think the last menu is pretty. Oh, so, so this is a sleep timer, so obviously um, self explanatory. If you're going to play it and if there's no activity after the movie's played off, it was, it was, it was turned it off and you switch it off. Obviously, we're going to um, operating system, we're going to change, we're going to leave that to actual English. You can actually factory restore the actual blights. Not sure what this blending actual option is. I couldn't see the actual um, why that was there. And obviously, uh, the duration of the actual menu screen when it turns off. And obviously, you can, uh, so this one here is software actual update, free to be, be USB port. So you can actually download new firmware and actually update it. Don't believe think that's going to happen much, um, especially with um, these devices from actual China. Update, updates are pretty rare and I don't believe I'll get an update for this device ever. So, but any, anyway, $170, what the heck. So let's just um, go on through the actual menu. Um, and obviously you can see here, you can go down and set the time and all, all other settings like that. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, well, when I'll be like streaming actual um, media off of um, the Chromecast anyway, that's going to sync up to my phone anyway, into my to Google Home account, so no need to worry about that. Anyway, so we're, so, so we're going to shut this down, and when we're going to shut this down, we're going to leave it, and we're going to start actual um, playing some actual, um, some actual media and see how it performs. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back, and so, what I've actually accessed now is the actual USB actual um, interface. So obviously it says at the corner, USB 2.0. Uh, so this is the actual menu here. So first things first, you've got to realize that the wall that I'm projecting on is not a pool, um, pool white. So it's kind of an off actual white. So the actual colors are going to be slightly actually different. There's also a bit of texture on the actual wall itself. So it's it's going to be play around with the actual um, colors. So I may do like another video because I do have an actual screen actual um, on the actual way and we're going to see how the actual colors actually um, hold up um, on a basic wall versus an actual screen. I did have a white cloth hanging around but I wasn't going to hang that actual up because I actually found that the actual lights actually um, um, went through the actual, the actual fabric and also there was a bit of light bleed on the actual cloth. So you don't want to actually um, use something like that because obviously it's going to smear the actual colors. The colors going to bounce on the actual fibers of the actual uh, cloth and you're going to get a, a pretty smooth looking image. And when, when I mean smooth, I mean um, blurry as such. So we don't actually want that. So one thing you actually can see, um, focusing focusing on the um, focus on the actual um, projector is actually quite clear. So you can see that the actual text is actually um, quite clear, and the actual um, corners are actually um, um, there's slight blurriness, but not too bad, because most um, LCD actual projectors, and especially the actual cheap ones, um, you only get centralized actual focus in the middle of the actual frame, and the and the actual um, corners will actually be quite blurry, but this is actually looking quite good. Um, what I will do is when I will hook it up to the actual PC, we're going to have a look at how um, well the actual image holds up and especially the fine actual details, especially around the actual corners. But if you're actually watching an actual movie, um, you're not really going to actually notice that actual much. So obviously in the USB actual menu, so you've got movie, music, photo, and actual text. So the so you can actually play actual like um, media actual files off here. So I'm actually going to go through the actual manual and have a look. Um, so apparently the actual codex that you can play is MP4. Um, to real media, very bit right. We've got AVI, real media, and um, MKV files. So first things first, MP4, that's fantastic. Um, most actual videos are actually coded in MP4 format anyway. Um, I believe that's um, um, H.264. Um, I'm pretty curious to see if this does um, H.265 um, um, actually, um, the actual newer codecs that, um, that's actually um, used in most actual Windows actual laptops these days. 
file size is a smaller and you still get the um, same image quality at the lower bit rate but um, I might be actually testing that to see if that actually works really interesting how they've labeled real media player and real media real bit rate um, that might be two common video files probably popular in China but obviously real media hasn't been an actual thing in probably over 10 years now um, I can't remember the last time I've actually had video encoded in those formats. Um, but it's interesting that those things are actually available. Obviously, AVI as well. AVI is relatively old um, codec as well. So if you've got some really old school media files, that should work. Uh, but yeah, see how we go. Um, so for a USB 2 format, it um, shouldn't be an actual problem. Um, it's giving the actual bit rate unless you're doing like crazy 4K actual um, files. And if you're playing 4K files, you wouldn't be using this projector, you know, you'd be doing it on a 4K TV, probably like an OLED with HD, HDR. Um, so next thing is music. So in terms of actual music, it does play quite a lot of different formats. So we've got MP3, we've got um, Twin Years Media Audio, we've got AUG, we've got ACT, FLAT, APE, and I think the last one is the your standard um, WAV files. So interesting, but it can actually play lossless actual files as well. So if you've got high quality actual um, audio files, hmm, that'd be interesting. Obviously, you wouldn't play it through the actual speakers on on the actual projector because um, on board, like I'm not sure how many watts the actual speakers are on this, but I'm not. I uh, have low expectations on the actual performance of the actual speakers. But yeah, it's just, it's there if you, you want to use it. So next thing, we obviously, we've got really uh, photos. So you can actually play photos on this. So if you've got a USB stick and you can plug in, you want to show your mates or you've got friends over, you want to show, you know, photos of your latest holiday or, you know, life event, that's always an option. And in terms of files, you get JPEG, you've got... Uh, yeah, your standard JPEG, you've got your, um, your MIP files, uh, your PNG files, and it says other formats included, but it doesn't state which other formats are included. Um, yeah, we all, I'll just throw some standard like um, wallpaper pictures or Windows pictures and we'll see how that goes. Text files, so if you, for some absurd re reason, want to read text files on here, and yeah, they're basically text files. Um, so you've got, you know, um, like rich text files or just your standard text files and you want to do a little bit of light reading or if you want to read up some patch notes or something um, it is there um, not sure why it's there but yeah it's interesting that it's there okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and play some actual media files off the actual hard drive and see how it holds up okay I'll be right back 